Alright, hello, 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 hello! Welcome to a new video. So in this one I'm going to show you how to build an oil refinery and an oil production farm. Which is the exact same thing. But there we go. So there's obviously a few ways to get fuel in the game. So I'll show you the first method, um, which is the more annoying farming part. Is that you come over here and you can come to any road and you can find these cars. So I've already got that one, but it's this one and this kind of car. So this sporty car and a white car. So you come up behind it, press F obviously, and then go into it and you can get oh, there's six fuel in there. So you can get um, between three and six in the, this zone. And then down here, it's usually between one and three, which I noticed when I was playing early game and I was getting mixed fuel. Never knew what it was used for and I wasted it most of the time. So um, that's, that, that was my early game start. <laughs> but we all knew, we all just started. So, number one, you're going to need these. You're going to need uh, advanced solar p generators. Since I'm not in a polluted zone, um, because you cannot make uh, a fuel refinery in a polluted zone, you have to have these. The only reason I've got these, I know that the uh, biomass um, generators and I think the water generator generates more energy. But because with these, I have, um, oh, one second, oh, oh, one button, ah, B. All right, and because I have these, I have the uh, um, enhanced effect. So I've got an extra 15% energy production out of these. So it gives more than the, and then the, ge and then the uh, other generators, apart from the deviant ones, which I can't get. Plus, I have loads of these as well. A load of electric eels, which uh, are very, very handy. And uh, they um, bring up my production to quite a lot, as you can see. So the first first step, you're going to need generators. Second step, you're going to need these water pumps. So water pumps are in here. So processing facility, and they'll be down here and gathering the production. So you get one of these, and you build one. Um, let me just build one for the sake of it. And oh, There we go. And uh, then what you do is uh, you press uh, build and you put, well, let's go, let's go from one of these. But you can do it on, on the solar panels themselves. So you can attach wire, press X, and then attach it to that. And then that will start pumping out. I'm not sure if it's got any energy though. Let's find out. Oh, it does as well. So every five minutes, you will get one barreled crude oil. So I got 73 here, so it's obviously been 70 um, a lot, um, well, a long time actually. I, I think I came on about four hours ago. So that's why I've got so many, and all these should be filled with them as well. And then what you need is these. These are a refining facility. So you bring it here, and uh, uh, there it is. So it's 10 power, and you can also unlock it in your uh, memetic, memetics. And you come down here, and uh, this is a fuel refinery. And also, you can unlock the water pump. Um, I'm pretty sure it's one of these ones. Yeah, water pumps here, uh, up here. So that's the water pumps. So that's early game. And also, is uh, the early game generator. So you can do this early game as well. You just have a lot less of it until this opens up. But um, you obviously want the like, advanced generators, which give you these. Very, very important. And uh, that's pretty much it there. That's all you need. Uh, just a uh, refinery and this. And also some upgrades when you come to your specializations. So if you come here, come back to Minetics and up here. So I need to find it. There we are, solar panel generators. So it, oh, it gives me an extra 10 watts, which is absolutely fantastic. And also I have this. Um, I, um, so this is an oil... Uh, so I don't know what this is a bit misleading because it says oil uh, oil processing when really it just uh, you can turn portable mixed fuel into star dust source with an electric furnace so it's a bit uh, a bit misleading uh, that one that they need to change that name but um that's that's how that works and then what you do press b oh and come to and then it should be here so we'll find a facility so you place one of them uh, attach wire happy days and then what you can do so fuel input you can put crude oil in and every hour 
I know it's a long process, a very, very long process. Um, it uses 10 barrel crude oil to turn into five mixed oil, mixed fuel, which is then used for many, many, many things. But obviously, because I have that perf, I can make a star test sauce and it costs 15 fuel and 50 star test ore. I can build quite a lot of, and make a lot, quite a lot of it, but uh, I've already got like 10k, so I don't really need any. But um, but also, what you can do, you can do that. Put the mixed oil in, and it will make uh, this one here, the advanced, uh, the advanced oil. When I find it, uh, have I got another on me? Um, okay, okay, I guess I don't have any on me. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Um, I should have really thought about that first, shouldn't I? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm pretty sure I had a hundred and something on me. Oh, there it is. Ah, there we are. So it's the barreled premium fuel. So, unfortunately, it does cost a lot. So it costs 50, 50 per one, which is a bit, you know, a bit crappy. But uh, if you never want to run out of um, premium fuel or mixed fuel, this is the best way of doing it, in my opinion, the best way. And that, that is, that is pretty much how you do it. Right, and I know... People are in the comments. Uh, I might ask why have I got so many of these advanced solar panels? Because I have a teammate that can build an extra two. I know it, it looks very messy, and uh, I apologise, but uh, I'm not exactly the moon, neatest, uh, best builder on the planet. Um, but yeah, that's, that is basically how you build an oil refinery. It's really easy. It's a lot easier and less time-consuming than an acid farm. Um, but I've got plenty of acid. I've got a team, a team, two teammates that produce acid, so uh, I don't have to worry about that. And they give me as well, because they're really really decent guys, so uh, that's really ni nice of them. But that's how you do it, and that's why I have so many. So my production farm is growing, and it's getting bigger, and also it's producing a lot of mixed fuel. So I now have to worry about getting Stardust to uh, upgrade my gear, and uh, upgrade my guns and that, and to make special ammo and that stuff. Especially the biomass uh, missiles for the, uh, um, for the, for the, what, what are they called? Um, and for the Central Frontier, like, uh, Prime Wars, which is really, really decent. And there's one actually going on up there. Um, but I won't be going for it. And so that's how you make an oil farm. So if you like the video, please like, please subscribe. Be much appreciated. If you want to know anything else, any comments at all, if you want me to make a video covering anything, let me know. I will cover it. Um, I do have a video of my shrapnel build coming out soon, soon, soon. Uh, but this one will be out first, obviously, because you'll see it first. And, uh, oh yeah, I've got like a shop with loads of uh, gold ore in. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a lot of gold. Uh, well, now, let, me, let me quickly just show you my stash of gold. I got so much. Alright, let's come to my secret box over here. I do have 82 gold and 258 silver, um, silver, gold bar, uh, silver gold bars. So obviously I've been uh, very, very, very busy. But there we go. Anyway, I'll leave this one here. Um, please like and please subscribe. Be much appreciated. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.